3D6 down the line. All right, episode 52 in the books. Well done, hey, guys. Wow. Yeah, that was amazing. When we hardly knew ya. Yeah. I know. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of power and value on that body. So I guess if I roll a wizard, like Mike said, I can try to try to I mean at this point, why wouldn't I? But you know. Uh, um, I, I gotta say, oh. man, like like did anyone not think that this is going to be the outcome for this this whole episode? Like it just felt like like I don't want to say that we didn't have choices, but I'm just gonna say that it was continuously like the trying to pick the lesser of two evils for this whole thing, right? Like, I mean, the minute we set the first alarm off, sorry, I'm going to cut you off. Go. No, you're good. That's that's what I had to say. I feel like the minute we set the first alarm off, like the ball was rolling, and again, though we had junctures, and obviously I suggested just committing to the original, mm -hmm. but like that we had junctures where we could deviate. It always felt pressured in a way where it was like a lesser of of, of evils, like you said, right? Um, uh, yeah, it was I, spiders, I, I had the time of my life, problem. but you know, go ahead, Ted. If we just fought the spiders, we wouldn't be in this mess. I actually think backing up even more than that, since we were going to use so much of that wand, which is a limited resource, right? We would have been better off going up against that adventuring party that was turning out to be bandits because A, they were a bit of a known quantity. We knew where they were. They didn't know where we were. Um, oh. You yeah. know, we could have, if we'd gone that direction, I think then we might have had the same outcome. We might have had one dead party member, two dead party members, et cetera, et cetera. We wouldn't necessarily have had Harold, who is like a bonus, I think. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's a really interesting, I, I agree, actually, like in the end, with the information we have now, right, which is always the thing, like uh, uh, the way I talk about it a lot is like known versus unknown dangerous, right, when we chat about this stuff. For instance, like, on our Discord, we talked about like, well, what if East looks like a, a, a too dangerous and we have to turn around now? Right. <laughs> Turning around in this case would have been going into another group of ventures that maybe we should have gone down and just fought him in the blue tile room, right? But well, or we could have just like, teleported. Well, that's the other thing is I have all the tell, but yeah. you know, this is the thing. Like, but you know, the momentum, the fun of the momentum, I think, is something to be said. But also, like, you yeah. know, a big a big thing that I was we we discussed is like contingency plans, and I was pitching like. Well, do we go explore the caverns if East doesn't work, or do we go back to the Arden Cult? Right. Not to say that the Arden Cult equals survival, but it is extremely known to us. Right. Whereas every other direction is an unknown, and it's a really interesting example in my mind in D and D of like how dangerous the unknown can be, especially when pressured, like we are in a situation like this. And so, like you're saying, fighting that adventure party is a known. Right. It's we a far better known in some ways. We can't um, go back to the Arden Cult because the ring that'll open that door, Mort has it. Yeah. I was going to ask, where is the ring that gets us by the death statue? Mort and has it. Mort has it. So that's like a non-starter there anyway. And, um, you know, you know, there is just a lot of opportunities for us to make a right turn instead of a left turn in this, in this adventure. And Bro. man, we we just seem to constantly pick the wrong thing. Well, not well, necessarily I mean, the wrong thing. You, I, mean, I don't it, think it's it, necessarily it, the wrong thing. You you, yeah. th th there was enough of a force there where uh, by the books, like you should have been taken either either killed or enslaved uh, there, and you managed to overcome, which is pretty impressive. So it's not an right. entire loss. You 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 did. Do yeah, there is a bit of a problem that one escaped and is now sounding the alarm. So you, you're going to have to react to that. But what I'm saying is, is like you are now in a room where you can make a, a choice. So not all is lost. It's not like you're continue. You're, like you're you're limited to like just continuing trucking on into the danger to the north. You know what I mean? You can certainly right. do that if you want. But not um, only that, we have a giant barrel of pitch, y'all. Fire, like, fire. Yeah. During up. that combat, I was thinking about going and dumping over the barrel of pitch oh, no. and then setting fire to it. You also have, don't forget, there are two alive but uh, not great looking um, uh, prisoners that are being are hung up on the west there. Uh, right. And that one have like both his hands cut off? Yes. Yeah, that yeah. dude's dead, but he might have info. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah. yeah, and you've got torches. So don't forget that you're going to, you're going to want to pick up torches and, mm -hmm. yeah. and then, um, like, you know, that they're going to be coming from the North from up the long stair, but, yep. uh, you still have, um, you have your excellent trap, a great, great 
use uh, alternate use of um, the wand of cold there, David, for setting up the trap to the south. Felt good about that. Um, yeah. You're definitely you're gonna get it. You're gonna get a feat for that feat of exploration, no doubt for that. Um, and <laughs> they will. My my corpse won't. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not getting anything. True, um, but. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying, like, you, it's not a total loss. It's not like everything was, you, you have options now yeah, um, for when you go. The north may not be one of them if you if you don't want to be go into immediate danger, no. but it's up to you. Yeah. I, but, I also like the things. idea of like. trying to set, like, a pitch trap on the northern stairs, right? And then while we're questioning the two guys that are prisoners, probably setting the one dude free, the other guy's probably toast. If yeah. they come back down, we can set them on fire. Well, and I think there's something really valid here in what you're saying. As long as we can escape in a different direction, which is again an unknown, goes back to the topic at the at the start of the detox. A couple but of eastern doors we can take. Burning, burning pitch in that stairwell. The smoke inhalation alone will keep people from coming for a long period of time. Right. Yeah. It's lethal amounts of smoke, and it will all go up. Right. Right. So. You, so you sorry, uh, go ahead, don't go. don't forget you're you're going to need to like extrapolate a little bit um, about. What the possible consequences are of numerous of these slavers um, having yeah. seen you? Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, like, I know, like, a, like one of the long-term goals, of course, is the form of set is highly desirable to get to, right? Um, you know that that's most likely going to be like a neutral meeting ground, but mm -hmm. um, you you need to extrapolate: has your is your ability to operate freely in the form been compromised by what you just did? You know, so just just keep that in mind right. that. Um, you know, it's a very well, it's a very good question. He, yeah. Then the answer is we have to kill the rest of the slavers. But but Ted, but see, that's fair. And I love that idea. You know, I'm always down for mass combat. But yeah, yeah. the only thing is, is like these guys are also business people. Right. And they just sent down, they think, 10 to 14 of them. And one guy came back. You know what I'm saying? The other guys are are behind us somewhere, the three of them that are behind us. Yeah, you know, I get that. They're probably going to be like, it costs more money to try and capture these guys than it worth it, unless like the whole revenge, you know. Well, I mean, there's an a, example there's kind of opportunity thing. here in that you can't let word get out that a couple of schmucks from the down below came along and killed all your guys. You know, if right. you, you have to sort this out. Yeah, that's but, true. They, uh, they probably, they'll, they'll probably hire Darius to come kill us. <laughs> couple, uh, couple, couple thoughts uh worth worth considering just like functionally uh we have teleportation stones backtracking yeah. through the ice will be annoying slide on our butts kind of thing and then find a party waiting for us possibly but if we no. can get back to the teleportation circles you know it is a means of escape and I don't personally, though I though I don't think it didn't think it was initially the most interesting thing in a scenario like this. Again, like logically speaking, I don't think it is a cop out, right? No, no. After fighting twenty slavers and barely surviving, to be like maybe we should just teleport, right? And the logic the ring had, which he expressed to all of the others. Did. What's that? Our our characters don't know where we're going, so we're literally throwing caution to the wind and teleporting out and to be honest with you all of us players know that one leads to like the surface right and the other one leads to we don't know like you know like whatever well this is this if is a I, big were John, I would make that be random and not leave that up to player choice because obviously we would all pick to go to the surface if, <laughs> if it was just left off it's not the point though the point is they're they're direct they're they're, they're I'll put it this way ren spent an entire session solving that puzzle for john to then rng the solution because we have different players when mm -hmm. what we've talked about multiple times is this is world knowledge right would be would be shitty it would, no, it would suck. but rin never discovered which teleport goes to where no no That's no, no. But a big a big a big part of the session, if you go back and watch, was like, for instance, David as Ren speculating which would be safer before knowing which went to which. This is really important. I had not watched Shell's session or known any conclusion about it, and I spoke th extensively with both of the henchmen right. about the fact that I thought what ended up being, and I was correct, Matt's teleportation was a far safer route. Mm -hmm. okay. This was something that I did in world with again. John can back me up on this. I had no knowledge whatsoever. That does not mean you're not you're wrong in this case, but I don't think we can then cast that aside every time. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes I'm, sense. Right? I'm, like, I'm fine with it because you you know me like I'm much I'm much more looser about meta knowledge now. So you, you do what you got. That doesn't do. mean that's what we should do. It might be that one of these halls is a lot more fun. And again, fun is a big priority right. here. 
you know. Well, I'll die um, in the ten foot drop from the teleport that Matt went through anyway. Yeah, but, but I think like survive. given given the huge amount of like gold and magic item value we have in this party, if it looks like we will lose all of it to the set heights, the teleporter is a reasonable last you know go right is what I'm getting at. Like it's so much to lose, which is still fine, right? But like trying to trying to salvage it is is, is worthy. Um, a worthy goal. So, John, did, did we have any chance of bullshitting our way through them? Uh, very, very slim. They've got they've got a lots of checks and stuff like that. You know what I was going to do is if they if if um if you hadn't cast the wand of cold, they were just going to ask you what uh, they were gonna, immediately going to disbelieve you because you didn't look anything like they look like. And then uh, what they were going to do just to check if you tried to still front the fact that you had prisoners, they were they were going to ask you what the name of their leader is. Who's the who's the guild master? Oh yeah, we would have been screwed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, we'd be done so. Yeah, so um, it, it'd be very easy for them to see through it. But um, options, oh, yeah. though, you've got. To, don't forget, you've got um, Gillen's band down there. Um, if you right. want to treat with them, and you've also got that whole area that Ren explored earlier, which had a lot of interesting leads. Now, if your priority is escape, is is exit, and to rejoin the party, which I yeah. wholeheartedly approve of <laughs> for obvious yeah. reasons. Um, the Mike, um, it, your only lead is that the form of set um, most likely has some sort of relatively easily accessible exit. Um, um, but yeah. uh, that's all you've got to go on. Very little information. And I, and I do want to bounce it, on that. I know we want to make it quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to say if it, if it matters to anybody, you know, in terms of your calculations, Yost is carrying something like 7,000 gold pieces worth of loot in his backpack. Yo, <laughs> So <laughs> okay, that is not jump change to no. uh, to be sneezed at, and like to just lose that to the slavers would really, really suck. Mm. It'd be huge, and also oh. it's worth. Yeah, yes. I mean, you lose losing. Um, I'm, I'm going to get even more sad here, but I also want to make a point about what John said. But losing all the teleportation things, losing some blue tiles that Onweir had, losing. God, there's just so much like like world. Don't get caught. No, but, <laughs> Don't lo get losing, caught. <laughs> losing losing um, like several really high powerful spells on your we spell book. All of ISO's yeah. gear, not yeah. just not just his one. His dagger's magical, right? Yeah. The, yeah. The, the Oculus, the Azure Mail, Belt of Dark. There's so much stuff, right? Like so stuff. To, to rewind for a second to John's point about if the goal is escape, I do want to like and and. Do one of these like 10 more seconds we need to close uh need yeah. to wrap things but i'm inevitably and not without being it being deserved going to catch some uh attention on dying again here right <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> this has been a big topic on the discord this past couple weeks which has been incredibly fun for me so thanks for everyone who's jumped in it's really exciting to see all the contrary opinions and stuff Hmm. A point I made then that I'll read right now very quickly, and then I will fold into what we're talking here is that though, like how you appraise like the cause and effect is hard in a game like this. My like risk, lack of risk aversion, snowballing in ways like the 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 fire teleport in ways that eventually lead to my death, even if there aren't like cause effect immediately one from another, are like valid ways of arguing that I died because of the the lack of risk aversion. I will also point out. That like most of my characters until this one died in ways that were like completely random or out of control at that time. Whereas this one felt like a direct result of like pushing it as hard as I can. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It felt totally earned that I died because it was very obvious that I was that we were making really big risks that probably wouldn't pan out. So that is a great like data point to fold into the conversation we had all week. I think that's really fun. I will also say as a caveat though, which I'd like to hear y'all's thoughts on if we have time. And it folds into like our private Discord chats and others. It's like we've always been trying to uh, uh, have a unified goal, right? And the unified goal that we've discussed and tried to like keep to it while we're playing. Unified goal we've discussed a bunch with this team was escape above exploration for the time being, right? And so at every juncture, we were making a decision here, including the set thing, right? Like the no, 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 no thing. It was like, I'm, I'm thinking personally, I don't know what y'all think. I'm thinking personally, this is probably going to kill us. But it is the only escape I know of, and if the goal is escape, mm -hmm. how do I, how do I, David, or how does the party problem solve to to do the escape despite the danger versus the unknown X factor that turns into fifteen sessions of exploration and then starving to death? 
potentially or whatever. Right. And you can't know, but like, that's an yeah. interesting thing that I was thinking about. I'm curious what y'all thought about it. Um, go ahead, Ted, you go first. If you have a reaction, otherwise I will. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so my thing about it was, yes, I agree. Escape was top of my mind for the entire thing. And the unknown quantity of slavers, right? Like that's that was the real big thing. When 10 of them came into the room, I'm sitting there going, okay, it's a 50-50 shot whether or not this is nothing more than an expeditionary force for them, a, a drop in the bucket for them, or this is the majority of their mainline forces on this floor, right? Yeah. And there is no real way for us to determine that ahead of time. You would think that for any Arden Vool faction – losing 10 to 14 members of their faction would have had that impact on them where they drop in effectiveness or they kick in certain reactions or whatever. If Garrel had lost a giant monkey and like 10 minor monkeys, he probably would have to change up his tactics, which Dude. we all think might have happened because of the Kona Cold Wand. So the morale like, check like, success is wild in that context, right? Yeah. Like they stuck ground. I was like, holy shit, I these know, guys right? stuck around. You know, continue. Go, go, go. No, but I was just gonna say, so so for me, even when they filed into that room, yeah. it was like flip a coin. We're either gonna come out on top here and then go waltzing into the goddamn forum, you know, <laughs> or we're gonna walk into the room with the army of stormtroopers. And now yeah. it definitely feels to me that John is telegraphing that this yeah. was nothing more than a drop in the bucket for them. Yeah. And we are totally like, you know, uh, uh, you know, pig over a barrel, like fucked if we keep going up. <laughs> that yeah. Yeah. Well, it yeah. just, you know, I don't even think it needs to be telegraphed. By, it, it's sort of like, you know, for a fact that the forum is up there, right. Yeah. Somewhere. Um, and so, and uh, all signs point to the fact that that is probably the heart of Set's power, right? So you're kind of walking right into the heart of the beast, but you're walking in in a violent manner. Obviously, right. not in the manner that most people walk into the form of Set. You are in a in a proscribed area, basically, right? The long stair is not meant for anyone but the slavers and the slaves that they're taking, right? Um, and but yet, yet you very, are traversing it, you know. Which makes it very interesting that the night was without harassment descending those stairs. That's, so he must have true. bartered some deal as an Azure Shield guy, some deal with the slavers to go down there, which is like itself a really interesting, uh, like that's a, a huge thing to learn for me, right? Like that's an, an enormous, like valuable info token that like makes the death worth it in a way for me because I'm like, holy shit. Mm -hmm. Like there's more to this than I've really appraised. It's definitely good to know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The other I have thing an idea. Oh, go ahead, Ted. Well, I think I should use the ring of unity to like flash a Morse code message to Avaricius and find out whether we should follow him, you know, uh, turn him invisible, oh. you know, short and long periods. That's so fucking think? smart, Ted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is what that is such a good. Do we have I Morse code this. in this world, John. Can I we do love that? this? What, what is the effect that the, that the rings have that you have? Well, I, I, I could make him blind. If you do what? I activate my ring, and he. He. Yeah, I. In order to make him invisible, I have to. I become blind by using my ring, so I. Could, you go like, blind. But he goes. I invisible. go blind, and he becomes invisible. But I could make him invisible. You know, in a repeating pattern, he could, and right. then he could return it. He could send it back to me. That's what I was wondering. Does, it, does the ring allow him to do the same thing, or is it only the? Yeah. I can't. Either way, it's, both it's of them work. Either way, to either way. The okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Then that would be an effective way to at least communicate. Um, uh, that we're alive. That, that you're alive. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What yeah. I love about this, what I love about this, isn't just, and I want to give. John Ammo, so I'm sorry ahead of time, gang. <laughs> I love the idea creatively. There's just so many things that are working for me that I have to see you do it. I also love that we have no concept of time alignment, and this could be happening in the middle of a dramatic moment for yeah. Mauricio's <laughs> and the other yeah. team. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, like, <laughs> and that's so good, though. That's so it's such good emergence, right? Like, oh, I'd love it. We're like a really dramatic there, discussion the, with the like, one. The, the one thing, I mean, meta meta wise, you know, <laughs> but um, you would never be able to confirm that the person on the other end wearing the ring is the same person that you thought was wearing the yeah. ring. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you know, of as course. players, as players, you know, so not. It could game. also happen like he's asleep and he has no idea he's turned invisible, exactly. and I'd be like, "Oh, I'm <laughs> dead!" Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 
All right. Know? Very cool. Very yeah. cool, guys. That, yeah, was, very... uh, that was a heartbreaker, though. I'm not going to lie. It's... Yep. Uh, it's a yeah, heartbreaker. Uh, yeah, another death.